Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this quick video I want to show you about a beautiful 1967 Volkswagen Beetle that we have for sale. Um, we found this car out of Connecticut and uh, beautiful, beautiful little car. Um, I did not build this car but I know the fellow that did and uh, he's done some Volkswagens before. Um, really, really nice job. I mean this is a perfect candidate to, to jump into. Uh, if you're looking for a Beetle, uh, 67 is a fabulous year. It's the last year of the uh, of the uh, the old style bumpers. It's the, the one year only car, and you know I have videos on this where I talk about the one year only features of a 67. That's the only year with the straight headlight and the old style bumpers, and the last year of the low back seats and the hard dashboard. So this car came in a ruby red. It's got brand new wide white wall tires, uh, beautifully painted uh, rims. Nice stainless steel beauty rims that you see here. Let me walk around the car. Now you can see uh, the fenders. The front fenders were replaced, it looks like. And I show why, uh, how you know the difference between an original fender and a replacement. It's based off of the, the distance, I'm sorry, the distance between the fender bead and the grill. If you got three fingers, you have um, an aftermarket fender. If it's two fingers and the grill is closer, um, that's an original fender. Now, I see a lot of people online when they're selling 67s, they might only replace one fender and then you see the grills are off. You see one that's closer, say over there, one over here. At least uh, in this restoration, they got the two fenders and replaced those uh, together. And that's wise to do, even if you're going to do the back as well. So front fenders are, have been replaced, but uh, it looks like everything else uh, seems to be original to the car. Um, front hood is the one year only hood where you had the thin molding okay and then you still have the old school handle it's the last year of this type, type of handle after this they went to the button on the handle to open that up um, you can see things are really nicely painted okay even the overrider tubes the brackets things like that there are a couple I don't know if you can see here a couple little nicks or maybe some road debris that's the glare here a couple little nicks here and there but for the most part, um, very beautiful looking car. I mean, you could take this to a show. Um, I wouldn't say it's a concourse level paint job, but it's a very nice high-end show driver. And as we come down the sides of the vehicle, you see the lines are very straight, no dings, no dents on the sides. Paint job shines really nicely here, guys. Running boards look really good. Um, the interior came out stellar. I do like off-white with the ruby red, uh, came out really nice. And this is the correct style, the seat, the stitching is all correct. This is where it wraps completely around. Uh, this is exactly the way 67 would have had it. Um, Wolfsburg West is the only one that's selling the TMI that actually wraps around like this, which, is, which it's supposed to be. So very cool here. Dash is very clean, there's a retro style radio in the dash. Carpeting we have here as well. We've got the red and black cocoa mats. It's a nice bounce. And it's a really nice headliner too that came out. Final headliners can be problematic today. They're very tough to work with. They come stuffed in a box. Doors open and close really well. Like I said, the lines are really nice. Got the stainless molding here, which is really cool. Um, the one year only door handle, 67 only. Very nice. I like the black fender beads. I'm not one for the color of the beads being the color of the car. I know that was somewhat uh, original uh, back in the day, um, but I do like the contrast there. Uh, it gives you a nice line. So as we come around the back, you got the correct deck lid. Uh, the bumpers are brand new aftermarket Wolfsburg West, uh, which uh, shine really nice. Uh, I think they got the best style bumpers. Uh, so as we jump into the engine compartment, You'll see, of course, this is not the original motor. This is a 1600 uh, dual port motor. Um, this was a crate motor, brand new motor. There's probably only a couple hundred miles on this motor. Um, we did not build this motor, but the last guy uh, that we bought it from said that there is an, a mild aggressive cam in here, maybe like an angle 110, and probably, probably a big bore. Uh, piston and cylinder set. So we released a 1641 here with a dual port. Um, she runs like a mother, guys, I gotta tell you. Um, 
really nice cruising down the road. You can probably do 70, 75, 80 miles an hour all day long with this thing. Uh, very, really, really cool. So um, I thought what was really cool was when I saw the car uh, in person, the, uh, the guy bought my tar boards uh, that you see in the back. So I like that. That was a nice little touch there. So pretty cool. Um, very clean, very nice looking Beetle guys. A couple imperfections here in the rear apron that I noticed. Very slight, uh, slight little crack there. And a slight crack right here. Maybe it was something to where the motor was being inserted uh, while they were installing it. And maybe the, the muffler was banging up against the, the apron as they were installing it. Not sure. Not bad at all, though. Um, I mean, it's... Uh, it's just very minor right there. I don't think it's going to expand by any means. So uh, just wanted to point that out to you. So I'll have pictures on my website uh, of the undercarriage that you can see. Uh, it's got a brand new front beam. I mean, all new mechanicals in the car. The drums were painted really nicely. Um, you can see this car was very meticulously looked after and restored. Um, so if you take a look at the pictures online, You'll see that this car uh, really, really came came together. And for what we're asking, I, I mean, you really can't restore it for that price. Um, it's straight as an arrow, uh, stands great, sits very nicely. Come around the front again. If you have any questions at all, of course, you can email me or give me a call. Um, I don't think this is going to last very long, so I would. Uh, you know, get your offers in if you'd like. It's a great entry level be vehicle. 67 is a great car. It's a one year car. Um, I definitely recommend this car, guys. So let's come around. Even, uh, even the blinkers look good. A lot of times these are shifted over as well. Um, I've seen cars, you know, where the light is either forward or further back. These seem to be all straight. So. When we come around here, I'll show you the coming on the driver's side. Here's the driver's door panel. Nice little touch with the sills. I like those. Like I said, the seats are very straight. Here's your dash. Steering wheel looks great. Nice little details here. All new hardware that you can see here. At least these seals are not painted over. Everything was basically taken off this car when it was painted. So, very nice. There's another shot of the headliner. Very good. Let's see if I can get a shot of the back seat for you guys. I'll move this forward. There you go. It's got all new padding in it. Very nice and firm. Another nice bonus is the original, I don't know if you can see that, uh, pop-out window glass. For the rear quarters this is this is very nice to have you get rid of that helicopter effect that you get on uh, your ears while you drive down the road you could pop these open and it ventilates the car really nice these are pretty collectible you can buy them aftermarket they're available but uh, nothing beats the original right here's a look in the trunk area a nice spare tire that we got here the wheels are painted very nicely guys uh, looks like they picked that almond color from rust-oleum Nice color there. It works well. I know originally, uh, you know, 67 rim would have been two-tone, uh, but this uh, last owner uh, wanted to go with the cream, which I think is a nice bounce. Uh, but uh, inside got brand new uh, trunk liner, wiring cover, Wolfsburg West tool kit, which is really cool. And uh, the car does match, body and chassis do match. You got one chip here on the edge of the the hood, we do have some touch up paint as well. So if you do want to touch up any of these spots. Um, again, like I said, it's not a concourse vehicle, but it is a very well presented vehicle that you can take. You either use as a daily drive or cruise night car, show car, local car shows, that sort of thing. Here's your spare tire tub area. As you can see a brand new gas tank, which is really nice. Tub is really nice too. No dents. Doesn't look like this car had any accidents. You guys can see that. Well, 
good light, but let's see if I can get some good light here. There's the Vintag. There's your VIN number on there, and I'll have a shot of the VIN on the chassis. When we got the car, some of the electrical work was not working correctly, so we got all that to work right. All your blinkers work, your horn works, uh, um, your flashers work, uh, basically all your, your dash gauges work. I'll put this on for you so you see. Dash lights are good. Okay, we got a blinker. There we go. And you got your flashers. I can put the blinkers on again for you to see. Nice and bright back here. Okay. Go do your headlights right now. Okay, there's your headlights. High beam, low beam. Even the little license light works. You got everything, even the running lights. Let's do brakes. Yep, there's your brake lights. Excellent. Wipers. That's a two speed switch, too. So if you turn it one more time, it goes a little bit faster for you. Cool. Four way flashers. There we go. One good feature to have, especially in a Volkswagen 66 and on, finally had flashers. Uh, we've been caught on the road before where we, with an earlier bug that don't have these flashers and could get scary sometimes depending on where you are, but uh, flashers work well. So let's get a couple quick shots underneath the car. As you can see, this beam uh, looks brand new. Um, Really nice job they did here. It's got all new hardware here for the uh, anti-sway bar. Um, the brand new pit pitman arm. There's all new hardware on this front end here, which is really nice. You can see the pans. Got new hardware as well, holding the pans to the body. Bottom of the heat channels actually look good too. Some undercoating there. We move over here, you see, brand new transaxle, rebuilt transaxle. So really good training that we got in there right now. There's no popping out of gear, there's no grinding. All new heat boxes, the new motor build. Really nicely done. Hands look good, battery area looks good. Very common on the Beetle. So this either has like an undercoating paint on it or like a truck bed liner, which is very nice. It'll also sound insulate to a degree.
All right, guys, if you have any questions whatsoever, please give me a call, 845-290-9900. Uh, Visit my website, classicvwbugs.com. And like I said, beautiful 1967 uh, Beetle for sale. This is a perfect car to jump right into, turnkey, ready to go, have a lot of fun. It's got a great look to it. Um, you can't beat the classic red with the white walls. It just pops. So that's it. Uh, give me a holler and uh, we'd love to chat. Take care.